Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to more of the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So last time we got the uh, grass that we need for the griffin. Today we're supposed to speak hey, with the hunter. We also helped an old woman get her pan. Um, that was an interesting side quest. And what else did we do? We just started the game basically, so you know. Couldn't do a lot, but still. Is he home? Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trails Footprints. fresh. His love just left home. My controller just vibrated. Oh, why? Where is he? Oh, here he is on the grass. You, Ms. Love. That's a weird grass glitch. That? Wolves? No, wild dogs. Yes, more dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs have been the a way. problem for a while now. Since the war started. Soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog... A kick in passing, no more. So these stray too late. Attacked another one. Are you shooting arrows at them? Not doing too much, it seems. deal with the last one. Oh, he's attacking us. Again, not doing too much, but, you know, the hell is with my eye. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together. Where the black armies encamp now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before. Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No, not at all. So, can you show me where you found the Nilf Guardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts up. alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. Right, right. Watch it take you away right now. Wouldn't surprise me. Was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to. Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. 
Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Yeah, okay. Elf guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. What the hell did you push me away? Blood? Grounds black, saturated with blood. Mm. A camp. I thought that was clothing. Yeah, what else? I hear growling wolves, probably, or dogs over there. Ah, footprints. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. I pressed the jump button. But there is. Oh, wait a second, I want to check. Oh, nice. Here. Should I go up? Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least? The corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Well, that's sad. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft. Dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Doing all I could. Should talk to Vesemir. Anything can I. Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Around. Only a human could do this. I guess we're going back to Vesemir then. Although I kind of want to check out... Ah, the notice board as well. We could fast travel technically also. Oh, I have to find a simp. Of course, this is not that type of game, you know. Eh. Oh, God. That's a tree. Oh my god. Oh god. This is not safe. I swear to god, my horse does not, not listen so fast, to me. Roach. What the fuck am I to do? Eh? My pride, Hellraiser. What, what happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. 
I've lost everything. Everything! Easy on the insults. I could add to your misfortune. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to serve as their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. But they think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Okay, let's check the board also real quickly before um Sweet what do we have over here? No, Guardian lessons. Uh, don't understand what you just read. No wonder it's an elf guardian and soon half the world will be speaking this mysterious tongue. So you'd best start learning it now and yours truly can help you with that for a very modest fee. Ernest of Vicovaro. Volunteers wanted. Imperial army not interesting. Somebody wants to borrow a plow. Oh, Doralima. Uh -huh. Brother missing. Bastion, my brother, went off to fight the Black Ones. I have reason to think he stood in the great battle nearby. He's not returned to this day, like many others, you'll say, and you'll be in the right. But if he fell, I know, and I know it's like he did. And I know it's like he did, I'd give him up to the ground the least. Like our fathers have done always, I'd bury him neath the barrow where our parents lie, not leave his corpse to be ate by the corpses prowling the battleground. So I seek a man brave, able with a sword, and willing to venture out with me to find Bastion. I won't pay much, for I have not much to give, but I'm not stingy with gratitude and sure to show it a plenty. Any man willing to help look for a raised hut along the road to White Orchard just near the bridge I've made camp. There, Dune Wildenvert. Death to the invaders, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. First of all, let's do this quest then. Because I want to level up more, which, by the way. Now I'm kind of, you know. I don't want the tutorial messages. Anyway. Let's see. Should I continue with my past attacks? I guess I don't know what I'm doing. So. Somehow, somehow I'll survive. <laughs> yes. If anybody has tips, do give them to me. I'll appreciate them a lot. Um. Can I go inside? <laughs> Probably not. Making me a slingshot. Gonna hunt bears. Behind the forge, I mean. Oh, I see something. Footprints. Footprints. A man's. Large. Stinks of piss and vodka. Oh, what a smell. Oh god, oh god. The hell kind of sounds she took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Hmm. 
Where could he have went? I can't decide. Ah, I see something. Should we draw it something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Sure to be poison. Tracks lead back to the village. Will you go to the well in Hovel instead? Lost his boots in the rush. Harold. I'd rather be ill than disturb a ghost. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. He will be bleeding more once I give him to the guards. Me grand told me about the Smith boy. Lad was missing one day. Lad a witch and was hunting me by. Because I was poking him asking. Well, he started bleeding. It's clearing up. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Well, hello there. Her claw marks. It's gotta be him. I mean, he's the only person in this house, so... Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa. Our arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. I ought to talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all. And dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies. Do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. I don't know. On one hand, I feel like, you know... The Elf Guardians will kill him if he's, you know, taken in by them. It's like they're the police right now. But I feel like, you know, what's he gonna give me? A few gold coins? I'll be justice. Call me justice. I'll Magpies bring you to justice. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> Calm down. Now follow me. I just like controlling their minds. Dang. Oh god damn it, he's slow. I, I gotta apologize. Mm. Gotta go. Apologize. I just pushed that woman like she was enough. Damn, he's slow. Looking for trouble. I mean, he is drunk, so it's not helping. Damn, his feet are blue. Goidema, will you raise a glass with me? It's Dervan now. D E R V A N, not Goidema. Uh, I'm just mean? literally walking, and he's just so behind me. What kind of name is that anyway? Dervan. Can I just go to the? Uh, maybe I won't have to wait. <laughs> Yeah. Up and at him. Hmm. What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nearly a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No, Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. Oh, geez, witch well, cool. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Well, I just sent a man to death. To his death. Damn, you're cruel. Villagers will really love you now. Well, no, I don't give a flying fuck about them. You know, I hated the black ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. 
But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Oh, okay, I'm just... What else can I do? Swallow potion. Should I do it? Maybe I should try. Can I brew it actually? Um. What do I need? Oh, drown our brains, huh? Let's go near the weather, I guess. I think we can find a few drowners over there, right? I'm going the right way. Well, I guess there's a quick... Oh my god, there's so many tutorial things. Jeez. Okay, now I want to find a drowner. Which I'm assuming there should be some. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. I'm going a bit further away from the people. Yeah, no, this is not leading me anywhere. Or maybe. There's something over there, but I doubt they're drowners, because... They're usually near the water, right? Yeah, no. I have to go. village yeah I should go over here actually oh god it loads so fast right now nice oh I see some of them I'm assuming I could explode those barrels but uh don't know how. Show me what you got. Oh god! Oh hell! No. Oh, why can't get killed? I'll cut his head off. Oh, another one. The hell is with my eye today? Jeez. Okay. I need one of your brains. Oh, okay. We got one. What else do we have here? Two chests? Vico Varo Blade. Red Zenrune Stone Dagger. What's your boots? Formula? Your bed? Rebedo? I don't know. Simploving. Let's see him. God damn it. More tutorial things. Let's see. It's not as good as my steel sword, but I don't know, maybe if I fixed it, probably the damage would be higher with it. Okay, Father could find something better, but. Uh, 
Let's craft swallow potion. There we go. Now I have to climb up the this thing somehow. Set back to the herbalist, I guess. Which hopefully is I don't remember the first time I played this game if I um, brewed that potion or if I didn't. So, um. I'll just make myself a shortcut. Yes. Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. Fair sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her. Deeply. Works on me immediately. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. Well, thank you. You seem like a nice woman. No, let me you. What else can we do? This, I guess. Well, can't collect the Gwent cards, because I'm assuming, you know. I'll find this spirit. Ooh! Level 2. Let's do this first, I guess. And I'm assuming he was in the village that I was like five seconds ago, you know? In five seconds ago. Where's the... Wrong way. Damn, how many wolves? I feel bad killing them because of the sounds they make. You know what I mean? I went the wrong way. I went to the fast travel there. The sun is so freaking bright that I guess I should wait till morning because I don't want to be it to be like hella dark, you know. And okay, I don't know. Everything feels so smoother and much much faster <laughs> than the PlayStation 4 version, which I know obviously it would be because you know. We'll look for Bastion later once it's safe. Do that often. Talk to your dog. It's my brother's Bastions, but. Guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Oh man. Bloody hell. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they're afraid of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Poor shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show, 
Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Sure. Fine. I'll help you. Just... Been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. I would have thought. But I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. Sure. I don't even know what the hell I'm picking up, to be honest. If I can, I'll grab it. Oh, there's a beast thing over there. A monster nest. What do they call it? A beast thing. Okay, we're here, I guess. Oh, he teleported himself over here. Yes, I'll wait for an hour. Um. Okay, I'll wait for another hour. Oh, here he is. Here, good. Bastion. His body must be here somewhere. Among countless others. Want to examine them one by one? Could take a while. You needn't fret. The recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. There was just a few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. No offense, but many a soldiers dropped his shield. Especially if he was on the losing side. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. Okay. So many corpses. And the war's just started. Doesn't look anything like him. Jeez, what the hell is he doing? Well, how long are you gonna Come make him wait? Can you smell past you, boy? Leave him alone. I know he's like easy prey. Oh, that dog is so powerful. Everything I can. It started raining, it seems. Another shield. That him? No. Vapor's son. Come on, Hassar. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Uh, still nothing. Skins burned off. Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? Oh, yeah. Bastion was big, broad shouldered. This one seems smaller, but maybe it's the fire did that. He found oh. him! The SARS caught, he's sent! Come on! Kind of zigzags. I don't even. I can't see where I'm. Going. Um. Yeah, over here. 
But there is more. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Ballista bolts landing all around, and all he could say was, A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Oh, you're, oh, you're killing me. My, my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first, I want to explain what's going on here. Bastion! Is he... Has this Nilf Guardian captured you? No. He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side. And then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosin here found me as... as he crawled across the battlefield. His legs twisted. And so we were. A blind man leading a cripple. Found no choice. Jeez. I'm taking you home. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rose in here. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his home. He's deserted. They'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the black and state. Who cares about your Laisha? <laughs> in it. Ugh. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. Maybe you ought to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Well, I could give him our pa's clothes, teach him to work the field, but that accent... Fine, I'll take him in. You can learn. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward, and the gods protect you. Let me loot that bag. I wonder if I come back here later. Can I? Wait, can't I? Because if I can come back here later, I wonder if, you know, we'll actually find him work in the field. Now then. Need my horsey. And. Ugh. I guess we'll do this contract. Oh, it's far away. So I guess I'll go here. Get up. Wait, did I choose the wrong? Anyone want to go and jump in puddles? Guess I'll go on foot. Cause I want to gather a lot of ingredients, well, as much as I can, I guess, as much as I can carry. But it seems like there isn't any around here for some other reason. Kind of sound. The infamous well. A noon wraith. Wonder what it's doing here. Uh, where's my best sherry? Bombs, Spectre Oil, and Iridan. Despite what is commonly thought, peasants do not interrupt their labors at midday to get out of the sun. They do so to avoid noon wraiths. <laughs> well done. Something's tied the noon wraith to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. Bodies dried to a crisp. 
Signs it burns. Noon wraith did this. She's not attacking. Yeah, I wanted to say that. Like, what the hell is she? I can't go over there. Hmm. Oh, just. Nothing in here. It feels weird walking around her and, you know, her not attacking me. Like, I like it, but it's weird. Oh, I found something. A man, stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there, but it's not his blood. A black magic doll, that does not seem... A journal might be useful. Oh, let me guess, it's like... Well, it's not that long, I guess. 27. It's day, I guess. Third month, maybe. 12.50. It's happened. Volker sent me... Volker sent a petition of our grievances against the Lord to the court at Vizima. Listed all the harm he's done to us, how he killed Johan for not taking off his cap quick enough. Oh, that's awful how he trampled our fields fields when drunk with nary a thought of repayment how he barged in during peter's wedding and demanded his right of for of the first night Damn. <laughs> now we finally got what we begged militelli for in our prayers for so long the judge recognized our grievances and waived all our bonds and duties to the lord we can finally strike out on our own at least at last i can't read today i'm sorry we can live as a free as free men a little bit later, the first day of our freedom. Havel's not much of a village yet, but to my mind it's better than the most fantastic palace. Volker fumed our home with, with the hazelwood smoke to drive out evil, buried a marten under the gate to make sure no thieves cross our threshold, and then he gave me a bracelet, loveliest I've ever seen. Mother said it's foolish to spend so much on a bauble when we haven't plows nor hose, and that we ought to return it to the merchant over my dead body. I'll never take it off. I'll always be there to remind me of Volker of how happy we were that day. Let me guess he died. They say the Lord is coming to see us, that he wants to make a deal to beg us to return to the village. They say he's calmed since his son died, that he's not as quick to anger about small slights. Well, we'll see. One way or another, I have no intention to move on one inch from here. That bracelet well, might be what ties the woman's spirit to this place. Blood stains, barely visible. Someone was dragged this way. Someone who was still alive. Palm prints in blood. Small hands. A woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. Let me guess they threw no her into the No body in sight, world. but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, bloodstains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. Hopefully she won't attack me. Noon Wraith won't stray too far from the well. Whoa, got too close. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I wonder if I run away. Oh, now she's coming. I'm trying to jump into the <laughs> And they can do this. Wait, 
Wait a second. Um. God damn it. Wait a second. She's chasing me like a beast. Come on, Geralt. I want you to jump in there because I know we have to do it. Oh god, I feel like an idiot right now. I don't want to kill her before doing it you know, fully. What if I run further away and maybe I can wait? There we go. I mean, it's not noon. I don't know if it's noon or not, but like... Whoa, got too close. Okay, I'll just jump into the well. I won't try to, you know... Well, she won't follow me inside here, so... Can't climb over here, can I? Oh, I found something. Bracelet. It's the bracelet she wrote about, I'm guessing. Like when you think about it, Geralt is very brave in a way. <laughs> in this moment, he jumped into a well while I made him jump into it, but still. Um, how was he planning to get out of it, you know what I mean? Because, like, um, a body? I mean, I don't know, it's usually a hole in the hand. ground and there's not a cave underneath it, so. Some air. Like, this is a huge game. Okay, I thought my breath would refill, but I guess it didn't. Let's hope I won't die. Jump in again into the well because I didn't retrieve the body. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot, I can sometimes. Oh, 
she's not here. Blood stains, almost faded, but the lines taut. Something's not right. A corpse hanged by the bucket rope. Oh great. Oh, Woman the well, not great. To, must be. Wide pelvis, small jaw, a woman, around 30 judging by the teeth, left arms missing. Need to cremate the remains, gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do though. No, the bracelet, Was she it. wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Let's take another look. Lovely craftsmanship. But I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the Noon Wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Need to prepare for this fight. Brew some Wraith oil. Drink some potions. I don't need potions. I'll be alright. Uh, Igni. Definitely not afraid right now. No, oh, she's here. Ugh. Hey, I think it worked. Come into my magical trap. Much easier for that. She's gone. Got a trophy. Okay, well we finished it. I leveled up. Oh, didn't I? Oh, no, I have the... Well, still. Oh, I have one point. I'm not functioning today at all. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. I should improve my shield. Why is oh it's not active now? That's weird. Huh. Would have been dealing more damage if it was active. Hmm. How did it? Deactivated though. Yeah. He's catching snails. Okay, he's catching snails. And I think once we do this, this will be all for uh, this place. So um, we can do the griffin. Oh god. Job done. Sure, like, she was not the well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't Make know. Sure. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. 
Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, there's hope for it, at least. I'll take it. How about that? Never expected to get a dowry. Nor did I suppose I'd ever give one to a witcher. Strange times these, wouldn't you say? Strange and sad. Thing of interest, I guess. Back to Vesemir we go. Oh, come on. I guess I'll wait till morning again. Here he is. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What He's else good. could he want from two witches? Go well, on. That's so true. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor, hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already, other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Me there. Thunderbolt potion, huh? Do I have step for it? Or oh, I guess I do. Somehow. I would say it's really close to the village, so I don't know. I don't know what Vesemir is about. Like, it's just, you know, like, I don't know. Like, it's, it's really close, to, you know, I guess. Oh, we're going this way, huh? Well, I thought we were going over there. I'm stupid, okay. Uh, let's save. A stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on, we can cower in the shade of those birches. Yeah, let's go cower. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Care Morn. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Care Morn. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, 
Think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. Well, he's thinking about the end of her, huh? Hear that? It's close. Let's go give it a warm welcome. Wait, take this. What's that? Oh, crossbow. A crossbow? Won it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. How about that? Always lectured us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. <laughs> okay. Watch out! How do I? How do I? I can't see. Damn, it's fast. No shit. At least I'm doing better than the last time. I feel like I'm playing on easy mode. <laughs> In a way. I should be much stronger right now. I feel bad for trying to kill you, Mr. Griffin. But like, you know, you're killing people, we have to stick you out. Why can't I? Actually, this right now the controls feel much smoother. What the <laughs> glitch was that? Oh really? Could stand to improve some things. For example, upward vertical strike, it's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones, already our horses. Meet me at the inn. Why was it away from the griffin? Like, I don't know. Let's head this conveniently. Placed on my horse. Okay, Roach, what is wrong with you? of power it's got to be where is it leading me
Okay, we're here. Oh, oh no way. make way. Oh, that's a lot of grain. What the hell is this? Roy. You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! Okay, he's cruel. I mean, unless he did it on purpose, you know. Because they don't like the Note Guardians, so why not give them what? rotten grain? No more Captain Nice Guy. Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tcha! A moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Oh, sure. I'll take it. Won't say no to some gold. Oh, that sounds painful. 250, not bad actually. Definitely be useful. Nordling. Is he back in white shirt? He is. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so something wrong. Look around. Trouble brewing. Time we were on our way. Mm-hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? Cheers. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit! They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister attending to the birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Oh. Oh. Leave me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. Well, you're not the young'un, so well, I'm not gonna steal you. Freaks. Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Guess we'll have to kill you all. Are you fine by me? They won't back down now. I can see that. I mean, Vesemir, you said stay out, out of this. Well, 
that was fast. Oof. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! Why would you help her? She is a bitch. I mean, it's true. See his face. God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> He's just puking. Let's go, Vesivir. So much for not getting involved. Come I mean, it's your fault, fault, kind of. That brawl? We didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Well... Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. All right. There are a number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Fezimir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't like complain. always. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. I got the trophy. Find you in the fur of Vengerberg. I feel like the you alternate know, out for suits her. Recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then. But then. Uh. Right now! Is that the wild fence?
That was smart, I guess. Jennifer, how big? We shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. It must suffice. Think of mere cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? Oh, he's annoying. In that chair. Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Then what? Gonna do my nails too? If time permits. Sadly, the day is short. While the list of hygienic and cosmetic treatments that the gentleman should undergo is really rather long. Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Oh, you're an ugly one. I don't trust you. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia, place of birth unknown, parents unknown, age unknown, all insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one, Arian. Um, well, it's from the second game, right? Um... I guess I spared him, maybe? I don't know. We fought on opposing game, so. sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in Charming Flotsa, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes and- A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there, and once again meddled in the affairs of the Mighty. The Mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her, and I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. 
I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Yeah, thanks. I was the most important choice of the game. Which outfit shall I wear? Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. True. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Should I take the most stupid one, which seems like the middle one to me? I'll do it. I think I can switch around the outfits, actually. But, um... I mean, I look nice right now. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll be with a stupid outfit. Well, then I will end the episode here today. In the next ep episode, we'll go and talk to the Emperor, I guess, and see what we... What he wants us to do, I guess. Anyway, if you did enjoy this episode, please like and subscribe and consider following me on my social media somewhere on the screen or in the description below. I'd appreciate it a lot. And I shall see you all in the next episode. Hope you have a great day and rest of the week. Goodbye.